Look at that cutie. This bunny is just hanging out with me while I'm shooting videos. Alright, I'm not going to bother you. Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grip Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we have the Mammut Ultralight Bivy. And let me go ahead and just say that this thing is definitely ultralight. It is very, very small. Is it perfect for all seasons? I don't think so. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. I will go ahead and show you the packaging for the Mammut Ultralight Bivy. This is the stuff sack that it comes in. It includes this card with a little bit of information on it. Now, as you can see here with the stuff sack, it has definitely seen some use. I have used this one time for an overnight trip just to get a good feel for it, to test it out. So, am I ready to give you a full review? No, but I can give you my initial impressions. With that being said, let's just go ahead and take it out of the stuff sack here. As you can see here, you have a Velcro closed top. The stuff sack is integrated into the actual bivy, which is a nice feature. Check that out. Very, very small. I really do like that fact. Very, very lightweight. This only weighs 9.9 .9 ounces. Incredibly lightweight. So here you go. Here is the bivy all laid out. It's a very impressive product. It really is. I've always been a fan of Mammut gear. And this really hasn't changed my mind. I am still a fan of Mammut gear. Down here at the foot box, you can see the logo, the mammoth. That's neat. Here at the top, at the entrance, you have a drawstring. Here's access to the inside of the bivy. When it comes to material, you are looking at Shelter TX Polymid. On the inside, you have Endurance TX 100% Polymid. So as you can see, my friends, I'm now inside of the bivy, and it's plenty long enough for me and my gear. In just a moment, I will give you all the dimensions on this, length and width. But I thought I'd hop inside of this so you guys could see what it looks like with someone in it. We'll scoot down. And as you can see there, it easily fits me. I usually just put my backpack underneath this just to camp out on. It definitely holds in some heat. There's no doubt about that. During the summer, this is a sticky mess, I promise you. Now, one interesting feature to this bivy is that on each side, you have these Velcro holes so that if you're inside of your bivy and you need to, I don't know, grab, get something out of your backpack, you can shove your arms through and do what you need to and then pull them back inside of your bivy. That's an interesting feature. I have not seen that before. Now, when it comes to the measurements, you are looking at 82 inches long by 26 inches wide. Now, of course, if you have a sleeping pad that's bigger than 26 inches wide, it will fit, but you are gonna pull the top material down onto the sides, which will make the entire bivy tighter. When you're done with the bivy and it's time to put it up at the foot box is where the stuff sack is. You have a piece of Velcro, which opens up and you just pull everything through and then stuff it from the bottom just like so. Very, very simple. So there you go, just like that, we are done. Very easy to do, very good design. So my friends, there you have it. That is the Mamu Ultralight Bivy, which I have to say that I like a lot. Now, as I mentioned, this is not a four season bivy. This really is meant for fall into winter and early spring. Namely, when it's cold, kind of snowy. This is not for really backpacking unless you're going to be backpacking in those type of conditions. In the wintertime, I think this is a really nice option to go along with a good tarp. You put this over your sleeping bag, your sleeping pad. It keeps a little bit of heat in, protects you from the drifting snow and so on. And it will work very, very well in that regards. Extremely lightweight at 9.9 .9 ounces. When it comes to cost, you're going to pay between $110, $140, just depending on where you look, Amazon, the Mammut website, and so on. Now, as mentioned, I did use this for an overnight trip just recently because the temperatures dropped down to about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was cool enough that I felt comfortable enough to use this. So I just used a thin blanket and I was very comfortable. It breathed well, but really this is a fourth season bivy that's what it was made for again the real focus of this bivy will be 
that fourth season, protecting you from the snow, keeping in some heat, and I think it'll work very well in that regards. Now, if you guys have any questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. I will see you guys around. Strength and honor, be well. <laughs>